All right, this is your man DJ TJ. And this is Friday Night Live. You are listening to WKTJ Reverence Radio. It is Friday, June the 4th, 2021. We are going to get started here. If you've never been here before, my name is DJ TJ. I want to welcome you all far and wide to Friday Night Live. And here we just bring you the news. And we bring you all the updates from the stimulus. We bring you anything local, national, or worldwide. So stay tuned. We also bring you the best in gospel music, funk music, and... We also bring that jazz, so be prepared for that. I am currently going through a lot of changes right now with everything that I got going on. We also have a web page with our clothing line on it. We also have a magazine as well as this radio station, so I have a lot on my plate. I'm also the music minister at my church, which we have a revival every other week. Which happens to be this week is one of the weeks. So tomorrow I'm very busy. So this will be a kind of short but to the point kind of podcast tonight. I hope you enjoy it. We're starting a little bit late because I had to do my laundry. But we are here. We are here. We are here. So without further ado, if you're ready, this is what is in your news. Alright, here we go. Facebook has come to the conclusion that they had to suspend Donald Trump for two years. Then they will reassess how they feel about him coming back to the platform. The FDA, the FDA approves treatment that doctors say is the most effective weight loss drug on the market but can it really make a difference this obesity drug has been said that it will help people cut weight by 15 percent could be a game changer in the weight loss world it's called Wigovi. W-E-G-O-V-Y, which has been trialed and studied and has proven it has helped people cut weight by 15%. That's what Govi. All right, all right, all right. There has been a second woman that accuses Stott Stringer of sexual misconduct. Her name is Teresa Logan, and she alleges that the mayoral mayoral candidate groped her while she worked for him. Right. Two sheriff deputies fairly shot a man during an arrest attempt, prompting new wave of unrest in Minneapolis. So make sure you say the name Winston Boogie. 
That's Winston Boogie Smith. Excuse me. He was wanted on a state warrant for illegal firearm use. That's for illegally possessing a gun. Excuse me. His name is Winston Boogie Smith. California says that most vaccinated California workers must keep their masks on. California workplace regulators approved controversial rules that allow workers to go maskless only if every person has been vaccinated. The Japanese Olympic star Kaori Yamaguchi says her country is cornered about holding the Tokyo Olympics. And the Pentagon will neither, neither. Okay, the Pentagon will neither confirm nor deny the UFO societies that have been reported lately. And the most recent UFO report will not reach the definitive conclusion, adding to mystery over the sightings that have been seen. Right, the former Nickelodeon star Drake Bell pleads not guilty to attempted child endangerment charges. Drake Bell is best known for playing Drake on the Nickelodeon TV show Drake and Josh. He pleaded not guilty to an attempted child endangerment charge. All right, Rose McGowan opens up about depression battle, deeply sad and very low. All right, a Jeopardy contestant goes viral for her silly facial expression. Sound right, boy.
Let's continue. Hope y'all still vibing with me. I had to do a little something here. All right, we have to keep going here. It says there's been news about how Black Wall Street Gallery has been vandalized. The NYPD has caught a suspect on camera vandalizing the Black Wall Street Gallery. Alright, the man who killed his wife on Alaska cruise after she allegedly asked for a divorce gets 30 years in prison. His name is Kenneth Manzanars. And he was from Utah. All right, Nick Castellanos, MLB doesn't care about pitchers using foreign substances. He believes that cheating has been allowed lately. So the, the Major League Baseball officials don't even care if they know or don't know that the pitchers have foreign substances. WKTJ Reverence Radio. That's what you're listening to right there. That's right. That's right. That's right. So let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Andy Cohen pleads for help in case of missing man from his hometown. Andy Cohen is asking again for help to find a missing man from his hometown named Andrew. His name is Andrew Andy Neiman. Crystal Kaiser, trafficking victim accused of killing alleged abuser, wins her appeal. How about this story, y'all? In Hong Kong, there's a parking space that sells for $1.3 million, and it sets a new world record. Paris Hilton sells a memoir to imprint behind Jessica Simpson's book. 
Yana Sitsakova arrested at French Open in connection with match fixing investigation. In Don McGahn interview, the House panel interviews former Trump counsel McGahn. Apple is apparently doing a Peanuts documentary. This new documentary on Peanuts creator Charles Schultz looks like a security blanket for your soul. Ohio high school football coaching staff was fired after forcing a player who kept kosher to eat pork. Joel Greenberg sentencing set after judge approves a plea deal. All right, Tyler Zumbro had a line drive toward his head. The Rays prospect Tyler Zumbro is in stable condition after being hit in the head by a line drive ball. Right, the judge says he'll appoint ex judge in review of Giuliani's raid. Jocelyn Carlon graduation. Firefighters escort slain colleague's daughter at her graduation two days after his tragic death. Johnny Manziel sells his autographs since he made $33,000 selling autographs at Texas A&M. NFL players are urged to limit Toronto use. This is a painkiller, y'all. Arizona Diamondbacks analyst Bob Brindley taking voluntary leave of absence due to undergo sensitivity training. Conservative firebrand West resigns as Texas Republican leader. All right, Bitcoin drops as Elon Musk tweets break up meme. Magwa the Hero Rat retires from job detecting landmines. All right, Olympic champ Rollins McNeil has been banned for five years in a doping case.
All right, Christopher Ray has a parent say on the ransomware attacks. The FBI director for Christopher Ray compared the latest spites, spats of ra- ransomware attacks to the U.S. 9-11 event. Facebook to end the policy giving politicians free reign to post hate speech. Hence why they did block Donald Trump for the next five years. Or is it two years? I don't know. I just know they're blocking him. <laughs> All right, Greg Olson's son, heart transplant. Retired tight end Greg Olson's son, TJ, to receive a heart transplant. And he's eight years old, y'all. Eight years old. All right, Pence said in his comments about January 6th that he will never see eye to eye with Trump on January 6th. A heart reaction probe as possible rare vaccine link has been linked in teens. Heart authorities are trying to determine whether heart information that can occur is linked with the vaccination. ugliest language. Google had an answer and drew a black glass. Tom Hank denounces whitewash curriculums that omit Tulsa rape massacre from history books. He's encouraging people to get educated on the Tulsa race massacre. Please call your dad immediately and tell him another Master and Commander movie is coming. The Pentagon won't allow pride flags to be flown at military bases. Added 559,000 jobs in May. That's good. Bill Ackerman sees Universal Music SPAC deal, SPAC deal, closing later this month. He's going to buy 10% of Universal Music Group for around $10 billion. Sorry, for around forty billion dollars. The American Legion official resigns for cutting Mike 
my Memorial Day speech about black people. There's chaos in the French Open, y'all. Erna Sabalinka lost Sparks Tennis Chaos, y'all. Bargain Hunters, Bargain Hunters, Bargain Hunters. Bargain Hunters pounce as Trump t- condo prices hit decade lows. There was an earthquake at underwater Hawaii volcano that shakes a big island. The CDC urges parents to vaccinate their teens. Much of this suffering can be prevented. And last but not least, the U.S. traffic deaths are up 7% last year, highest number since 2007. All right, that is all the news I have for you all this weekend. I'm trying to get back to normal. I may or may not start over on a radio platform next week. I haven't decided yet. I have a big purchase to make for my church, so I'm trying to hold back a little bit. But we will see what happens. If it doesn't happen, you know where to find me right here on your favorite place to listen to your podcast. I'm also on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So do not hesitate to like, share, comment. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe only if you like the video, okay? If you like the video. If there is a comment in the section that you want to talk to me about, is there something you want to tell me or you want to share some news with me, feel free to do so. My name is DJ TJ. You are listening on Friday Night Live. This is WKTJ Reverence Radio. It is... June the 4th, 2021. And if you have, if you don't have a Bible, get yourself a Bible. If you don't have yourself a church home, get yourself a church home. Don't forget to do something for someone else other than yourself. And the word has it that this weekend is going to be really, really hot because it's going to be in a heat wave. So make sure you drink a lot of liquids, a lot of water. Stay light colored in your clothing. And make sure you are safe as far as wearing a mask, whether you are vaccinated or you are not. This is your man, DJ TJ. God willing, we'll see you the same time next week around 10 o'clock. God bless you and good night.